I think that each one of these three circuits, lust, romantic love, and attachment, evolved. I think they have different brain chemistry. I think they have different brain circuitry. I think they're associated with different feelings and behaviors. And then I think that they evolve for different reasons. I think that the sex drive evolved to get you out there looking for basically almost anything at all. <laughs> Romantic love evolved enabled you to, enable, to enable you to focus your mating energy on just one individual at a time, thereby conserving mating time and energy. And that attachment evolved to enable you to tolerate this individual. <laughs> <laughs> at least long enough to have a child. <laughs> I think that these three different brain systems um, we share with uh, all of the birds and mammals, uh, they're gonna vary from one species to another. Rabbits have a mating season, human beings don't. Uh, elephants feel attraction for about uh, three days. Uh, humans can feel it for months or even years. They vary, I think these three different brain circuits are not only um, vary from one species to another, but also from one individual to the next. Uh, some people have higher levels of testosterone and also uh, the kind of childhood. And childhood is always a part of human behavior, as we all know, but as I am an anthropologist, I'm going to focus today largely on the biological component of human behavior. But anyway, uh, some people have elevated uh, activity of testosterone and a higher sex drive than others. Some people fall in love all the time, and some people fall in love very rarely in their lives. And some people make more uh, attachments uh, more easily and have uh, uh, somewhat more, uh, um, um, less trouble um, uh, having a long-term attachment. They'll also vary over the life course. The sex drive tends to uh, decline somewhat as you get older. Attachment, I think, tends to grow. I don't, haven't seen any literature on this. I've looked at divorce in, in 58 societies. And um, when you look around the world, divorce is largely for the young. The longer you remain in a relationship, the more likely you are to remain attached. Uh, romantic love is, I think, a brain system that can be stimulated at any time in your life. I, I recently had an eight-year-old boy describe to me, perfectly describe to me, his infatuation or his passion, really, for an eight-year-old girl in his class. Uh, I certainly know friends in their 70s who are, and 80s who are madly in love. So I think this circuit is like the fear circuit uh, in the brain. It can be triggered at any time.